got sunny on, it stopped raining, so I took my shirt off. Poco pa. Cool. Hi. You wanna see something cool? See that? That's Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Yeah, the so the fires are like a month or two ago. You can see like kind of all the scaffolding up there and stuff. Um, it's so sad. It doesn't light up at night anymore. We can kind of walk close to it. Can you guys see the Notre Dame? It's like right. There. Quick status update. It's Saturday. It's the day. I'm trying to find a nice position here. It's the. That's what she said. It's the day before the race. Good news. I slept for like nine hours, 15 minutes last night. I feel amazing. I know I still look kind of tired. I don't know how, but I feel great. Uh, jogging over here to this little spot, see no dumb. Right there. Because I live in Paris. My stride feels good. I'm like kind of running like totally normal. I feel like powerful. It feels easy. I feel like I have good mechanics and stuff. Um, so that's good. So yesterday's workout I think was relatively effective for that. Just kind of feeling better. Bad news, I still am a bit sick. Um, I'm like, I don't have a fever. I'm not coughing or anything. Obviously I can still run and kind of operate normally, but I still have like, I still like snot and I can still like blow snot. My heart rate's like higher. My lymph nodes are swollen. Uh, my heart rate's been like 55. Resting heart rate's like been like 55-ish. Usually it's like 42, 43. A little difference there, but that's cool. Weather's been, weather's been interesting. Paris weather, I guess. Um, been like, like sunny like this. And then like five minutes ago it was raining. Supposedly, supposedly tomorrow, well, I'll talk about this later. Um, all right, so today on the agenda for the schedule, I'm just gonna go for like eight miles chill. I'm gonna go to this beautiful park and show you guys some nice sights because I've been neglecting you with this like Paris, you know, cause I, cause I live here now, but I haven't been like actually showing you any of the pretty stuff. So I'll do that today and eight miles easy. And then I'll do like strides at race pace or faster than race pace. And uh, that'll be it. I had a little bit less coffee today. So that hopefully I can go to bed earlier tonight. We'll see how that works out. Uh, all right, so let's go. So right now we're on the Yves de Louis in about two seconds. It'll be a really, 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 really pretty view. Basically there's this island right in the middle of Paris. There's two little islands in the middle of Paris. I don't know if anyone knew. There it is. Spire's gone right there. It's so weird. See, it's like all blocked off. I used to go running right through there all the time. This is like part of my route. I'll go down there and just like kind of do a loop, a little loop around it. You know, there's always people there and it's so weird not being able to go and check it out. Or at least run underneath it, you know? I hope it doesn't take five years to rebuild. It'd be really sad. All right, let's get going. If hey, anyone's curious about living and running in Paris, downsized traffic, tons of people. There are bike paths like this. Bleep, bleep. Bike paths here. If you're kind of aggressive sometimes and pushy just because like there's so many people, especially tourists and stuff, because I'm not a tourist anymore. Oh. Um. So there's a little bike path like this. The one, um, Downside, or like you know, from a runner's perspective, lack of uh, smaller amounts of soft surfaces in the middle of the city. That being said, there's two beautiful parks just on the outskirts. You can be there in like 15 20 minutes on the metro, or you can jog there in like 40 or 50 minutes. I don't know if the camera caught that, but it's a good reason for me to say, so, okay. If anyone gets mad or thinks it's bad that I'm in a bike lane, dude, running on these things with the pedestrians, especially when you're running, not that I'm running amazingly fast, but usually running as fast as the traffic on here, if not faster, if I'm doing a workout. I argue it's safer for me in here, everybody else on here as well. Safer that I'm on here because of stuff that like, like that that just happened. There's this weather. What is this? Rain. Oh, 
Je sais pas. C'est des jardins de Tuileries. Tuileries. Ah oui, c'est là. Hein. Right next to Louvre. Um, it's beautiful. There's the Louvre. Over there. Behind there's the triangle, the pyramid. <sighs> I love this spot. And so it's like one of the soft places to run in the city. There's this one, there's another one over near the Bastille, and then like that's pretty much it for inside the city. Um, there's another, there's the Jardin de Luxembourg, Luxembourg as well. Um, this is probably the best one because it's flat and it's big, like just all the way around. It's just about a mile. It's like 1400 meters or something, or maybe it's a K all the way around. But yeah, you know, honestly, it's beggars can't be choosers here. I don't live in the mountains, so I don't like, so like, you know, living in like a major city, this is like probably one of the most gorgeous, gorgeous places around in the world. And just because there's not too many running trails, you know, <laughs> it's, it's all right, it'll be okay. I feel, I feel good, I feel as good as I can, you know what I mean? I'll eat a lot of carbs tonight and try to get some good sleep and we'll see how things go. Uh, I'll probably still be sick tomorrow, but you know, what can you do? I'll be able to tell a better story like in a few days, but I was trying to think of a good frame for this video. Maybe it'll be like how to approach your race on race week or overcoming obstacles on a race week or kind of mental things on race week. Because like, I don't know, I remember, I remember like when I was a younger runner, because this doesn't really apply to anyone who's like, a professional and they just do kind of races for fun right like if you're sick the week of the race or you can't you don't feel like you're gonna do really well then just you just drop out right nobody do i think the stress is similar to when i was younger when i was like in high school when i was in college which if you guys if you're in high school or college and you have a race and you're on a team like you if you feel bad you can't just like drop out there's like this external pressure like you kind of have to do it which is stressful on its own right and for this race someone gave me a bib like oh, i'm running for this team and so i don't want to like bail on 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 the opportunity because it was really nice obviously the bib costs money and stuff so however the race goes tomorrow it'll be what it is and i'm going to do my absolute best like i'll max out my heart rate and I'll, I'll honestly i'll give it everything i possibly can but i guess i'll go into it with an expectation that or maybe just like an understanding with my future self that um there's a little bit of leeway there with kind of maybe performance just based on the factors leading up to it. So I'll still give my best, I'll still, do every, I'll still do everything I can, but maybe I won't beat myself up if my time is a few seconds or minutes slower than my goal. So yeah, so what's the goal pace? What's the goal race? So I'm running, so it's a 10K tomorrow, it's Adidas um, 10K, and all over Paris, there's these teams based on the neighborhood you're, you're in or you want to, you choose to kind of be part of. There's like 10, there's like Republique, there's the Bastille, there's uh, Odeon, there's like, they're all over the place. And there's like collections of like maybe pockets of like 100 or 200 people per team. It's really cool. I think it's the only city in the world that has multiple Adidas running teams in the city. And so to, tomorrow is like the end of season final competition between all of these teams. I'm in the top or the preferential group with like the faster starting group like for faster than 43 minutes so uh, so for sure I mean hopefully I'll finish faster than 43 minutes my goal was to run like 33 sub 33 uh, I don't know I've been training for my 5k 10k pace has been around like 510 to 530 per mile you know so we'll see we'll see how it goes um I did my tempo pace yesterday and it felt okay a little 545 so yeah, okay so we'll see, we'll see how tomorrow goes, you know? Um, how about this, for sure, if I run faster, so I'll be happy running faster than maybe 35 minutes. So just under six minutes per mile. I think that's reasonable to be able to expect to be able to do my tempo pace for 10K, considering tempo pace is supposed to be a half marathon race pace, right? So if I run faster than 35 minutes, I'll be cool with that. If I can dip under that, if I can run like 530s per mile, 525s per mile, that would be so nice. <laughs> we'll see considering yeah all right so i'll check back in tomorrow and uh hopefully i'll be able to tell like a better story with this kind of after it's all put together but the idea is to kind of give you guys something to kind of walk away with right so i'm like a, i'm a decent runner i've been running for like 14 15 years and you know this is the week of a race and this is kind of like my mental my mental attitude my mental preparation negotiation with myself you know how i'm handling my body how i'm handling my health and kind of all that good stuff all that good stuff leading up to it. So, also, I'm sorry if I seem like I'm not like as enthused as I usually am. I genuinely like I, you know, I want like, like this isn't my normal personality. It's you know, I just feel like I'm sorry, but I don't know. Um, 
can't always be bubbly and positive and happy all the time or always have like ultra high energy, you know? like 15 years yes it's my birthday in like two weeks i've never heard of muscle tension in my life <laughs> i don't know anyways i'm glad someone told me about this muscle tension thing so we'll see how it goes so i did four strides at like mile pace mile race pace for the muscle tension and i'm glad i did because i was going to race in these shoes but honestly they're like like paced there, there's no responsiveness and I'm really flat. So it's just good. So I'm glad I did that today. I can use my other racing flats, my marathon racing flats that are a few grams heavier or whatever. Um, okay, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.